hey guys, Joanne Ranger here. So a lot of people tell me that I have like many tools like Dremel and other stuff. So they think like I can make anything, it's pretty simple for me. So that's what they think. What I think is like technique is more important. So what I'm going to teach you today, I'm going to teach you how to make a pendant. Again, I'm going to teach you how to make a pendant, but with no power tools used, okay? It's going to be like no power tools, okay? Just peel hands, some um, files and other stuff. Maybe I won't use a file, but I will use like sandpapers and other things. That's it. We're going to make a simple pen and that's it. No power tools. So let's get started, shall we? Guys, what do you need uh, is this uh, high grade sandpaper. This is 220 grit. Uh, this is a sandpaper of this is 80 grit. We need a scale, pen, hexa blade and I got a piece of wood guys as you can see I like this piece of wood it's pretty thin it will make a good pendant but what I need I need this contrast piece over here so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut till here let's make a mark shall we let's make a mark line so let's just make like a mark line shall we like one two three four five Okay guys, we're going to make like this, so we're going to take it, let's see what's the length of this is, this is, take it like 8, okay, 8 centimeters is 7, let's take it 7, and let's cut this off, shall we? So, let's get to cutting. Okay, whoops, so we got the piece, Ooh. okay, let's start with sanding, oopsie daisy, my bad, sorry, we'll start with sanding, Ooh. let's go, we got the 80 grit, we got the piece, I want to make sure that we round these corners up, let's go. Okay, that looks great. Now let's go. Let's do the 220. It will like soft this piece up. I'm going to do all the sides and I make sure that I do the corners again. Well, now the corners look pretty neat, don't they? So I'm going to do the Okay guys, now it looks perfect. Guys, we got the piece, but I don't like want to drill hole inside this because I'm not going to use any kind of electric tools. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my except then I'm put two slots here and after that I'm going to take a file and I'm going to like make sure I make the slot a little bit bigger and after that we're going to put the string let's put the slot we got the slots as you can see we got the slots now let's big them up shall we let's bring a file So guys, I'm serious, there is a problem, we don't have a file with us, so I'm going to teach you how to make your own file. What you need is a 220 sandpaper grid, and what you need to do is to like take a piece of wood, as you can see I've taken this piece of wood, and just roll the sandpaper around it, and after that I just taped the corners up, as you can see, there's a tape, and there we have it, it's, this is a file, it has a corner here, so what we're going to do, we'll put this on the slide, and we're going to be like that. And we'll, we'll just increase the size of those slots. 
So as you can see, it's pretty easy to make. And uh, that's it. Just use this corner. That's it. And a piece of wood. Just a little bit of tape. Let's use it, shall we? Yeah. So guys, we got both of the we got both of the things. As you can see, we got the file, sandpaper, wood, tape. That's all we needed. As you can see, we got the slots. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna do. Well. Whew, okay. As you can see, guys, the file really does works like a charm. As you can see, that was the cut, and that one we did with the file. So that was like pretty easy and pretty simple to do. As you can see, we got this done. As you can see, it was like a this. It was a cut. Now it's a slot. As you can see, oof, oof, that was pretty easy to do with this, like sandpaper, tape, and wood. That's all it needed. Wrap it around, and you got a file. That's it. Let's take it. Yes, do this, and you got a pretty neat piece of wood. So let's let's do another. I'm gonna use the other side. Let's go. Whoops. Hey. That does it guys, as you see, we got the slots, Woo, man that looks great. Now let's put a string, that's it. Well guys, I got this string, pretty easy, just put this like a loop around this and just put all the cuts like that and just put the, I did a double string right here so it's going to be like that as you can see it's a knot just pull it straight forward and whoo okay just make it a little bit neat and there you have it pretty sturdy <laughs> woohoo okay I don't think this thing is gonna fall so let's do then shall we well looks pretty neat so guys, one last thing what we need to do is to put some kind of a design on this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put like a, like a, like a line, something like that. I'm going to make it like a prison one. So let's go. One, two, three, four, and that's five. Like one, two, three, four. Five. One, two, four, five. See? Looks pretty damn good. Like boom. Looks like prison made. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> That's so good. So guys, as you can see, it was real easy to make one of these. So just two slots, we make the file ourselves, that was like real simple to do. And what it took like two to three sandpapers and just a hexa frame and just a little bit thread. So that's how it's real easy to make your own pendant. Like I put some lines, like prison style, it looks pretty neat as you can see. And it's pretty strong too. Like. You can't take this off that easy, so it still works, looks pretty good, pretty neat as you can see, and it really does work, like I can like 
keep this in your neck, it's pretty light too, so you can like wear this all day around. And we say, wow man, that's really good. If you really want to learn something like that, so go find Divine Ranger guys. We got more videos on my channel. It's pretty easy. We keep making magic, that's all we do. So thanks for watching guys.